Hi, it's Jess here from iJess.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a congratulations card for my boss. <laughs> so uh, this is for Sam Donald from um, Pootles, um, who just um, was is the first UK uh, demonstrator to uh, hit a million sales. And so the team are all very excited. And if you follow stamina up you'll know who she is and you'll have probably seen her countdown so and she's also into rainbows so I've made this card um, we've got a little bit of a rainbow uh, going on in the middle one million well done um, and um, yeah so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it so here's how I got the letters so from the word wishes um, die set where you've got lots and lots of uh, words for lots of occasions I kind of looked at the dies and worked out which letters I needed and so I've cut out two Christmases one Halloween and one Thanksgiving and I've sort of written down where I'm getting my letters from so the C is from Christmas so I'm just going to snip that off there so we've got the C I'm going to get a little bit of a darker colour so I can see when I've got it um, and I'm going to take the R from Christmas as well so the R's there I'm going to keep that little bit of the tail T as well what else did I write down the I so there's the I and I need to um, find a dot from there somewhere an S so I've just cut the uh, the S there There we are. Congratulations. Get rid of all my scraps. And uh, so now I've got the letters to do the rest of the card. So I'm just thinking a little bit outside the box to get what I want. So I've been sorting out my colours to make my sort of rainbow effect. Um, and I always want to do rainbows I always in my head say Richard of York gave battle in vain so it's red orange yellow green indigo violet and um, so I picked out um, colors from our range to go with that I'd start with cherry cobbler because I know that's Sam's favorite sort of red shade and then we've got poppy parade grapefruit grove pumpkin pie mango melody uh, daffodil delight Pear Pizzazz, Granny Apple Green, Pretty Peacock, um, Pacific Point, then we've got Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and then we'll end with uh, Blackberry Bliss because it's 13 letters, so got two of each sort of shade, but then we've got an extra one at the end. And so we're starting with Sam's favourite and ending with mine. Oh, well, that was quite cool. And I kind of took the letters and my idea was, will they fit on uh, an everyday label um, punch out and they do so that's the that's the C and that fits so I'm going to cut one of these out from each of the colours and uh, that's what's going to go 
and I'm going to stick a letter on um, on each of them. So <clears throat> I've used the classic label punch and I've punched um, out uh, my 15. Um, this is take two because <laughs> first time I did it and stuck it on, I didn't actually make enough. Um, so yeah, I've got a extra thick wisp white cut in half, scored in half, and then I've got my usual panel and I've used the Subtles embossing folder to emboss that just to give it a little bit of a different look there for the tone on tone and then we're going to stick this on here slightly wavy so we've got to recap um, Cherry Cobbler, Real Red, Poppy Parade, uh, Grapefruit Grove, Pumpkin Pie, Manga Melody, Daffodil Delight, uh, Pear Pizzazz, uh, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green even, <laughs> Um, Shady Spruce, Pretty Peacock, um, Pacific, Pacific Blue? Oh, do you know, I was doing so well. Pacific Point, um, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape and Blackberry Bliss. So, I'm going to start... Um, about about a ruler's width up so that's about an inch um, just over yeah that's two and a half centimeters so about an inch so we're going to start about an inch from the bottom and we're going to stick our first one on and I'm going to show you how I align them up and then I might speed it up so that one I'm going to put it right over to the edge resting on that ruler that one's on there like so and then the next one so what we've got there, so they're roughly about an inch. It's slightly nearer the top, but it doesn't matter. Then the next one, we want this point to match up with where the sort of triangular bit meets. So using my ruler, keeping it straight with the bottom, put the point on there and stick it down. And then the next one, we're going to line that up once again with the base of where that sort of triangular bit is. Again, keeping it straight, putting that one down. And then once you've got these all in place, then you use the points of these to measure all the others so now I'm going to come back down to that point so we put the ruler on that point and then that one will come down and then we put this one on and we're going to come down to that one. And then we'll be going back up. So that's sort of the wave we're doing. So now we can go back up. We've now got two to help us measure. Again, I'm keeping my eye on the bottom here when I put it in, and we just carry on like that all the way across the card. So I'll speed it up for this last bit.
So there it is, all done. Um, could have started a bit lower, but that's okay. The one I did before that I made a mistake on, I started too low and I started too high, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think we'll get away with it. So now we've got to stick our letters on and I want them to go all the way um, across. And so I want them, when I, yes, they all have to go all the way. I mean, in a straight line was what I mean. I'm going to take that under card off. So, and it was at this point when I realised tape one that I didn't have enough colours like a wally so and they will when I did it before kind of go across and we can get the tails to sort of link up so it does look a little bit like one word and it is just a little bit awkward putting them on so I'll get them on speed it up so that's them all done so to get it stuck down I'm gonna use got a bit of Tombow in there, got a cocktail stick and I'm going to use one of these <laughs> and the words just popped out of my head. Tweezers! I'm going to use some tweezers. So I'm going to use a cocktail stick on the back here. This is say so every time I do it, tip from my friend Jill, Paper Daisy Crafting and it was Jill who I got the idea from taking these letters out because she did it um, with the well-written dies. Um, she uh, cut them up. So gonna stick that in there. So, there we have it. Congratulations oh, in a rainbow. So, I am going to stick that to the front, just as it is. I think it's kind of classy. So, just going to put some glue on the back of this. And stick it down. Get my card base straight. Could have put some ribbon across it, but I think there's enough going on so it doesn't need anything else.
So now I want to just decorate the inside. So I'm going to use this stamp here. So it's like fireworks exploding. Um, I'm going to use the well done here. And then I'm just going to put one million from, from this stamp set. And I've got some Stamping Right markers um, that I'm going to use. Um, so I'm going to put one million well done and sort of have them on top of each other. So um, I'm using Stamping Right markers because I just want the isolated um, word. And I've kind of gone for a little rainbow, of course. So I'm going to put my glasses on so that I can see properly. Gosh, that makes so much difference. <laughs> Surprisingly. That'll do. I think that'll do. Yay! So then I was going to do a little bit of an explosion. And I think to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to do... I did it once before for a card for Sam. I'm just going over like this. rather than do each of them individually. Because this is a bit quicker. do more than one bursts. <sighs> so I might just put this down in the bottom and then decide if I want another one. Yay! I really like how that's turned out. Quite like one up in that corner there. There we go, like fireworks exploding. Yay! I'll get them clean in a minute. That looks like an explosion. And then I'm just going to stick that on the inside. And that'll be it. We'll call that done. There we are, a very special congratulations card for a magnificent achievement. And um, yeah, I hope she likes it. So all the details will be on my blog, nigers.co.uk. There'll be a link coming up there. Please like and subscribe. Please go and explore some more. And I'll see you again soon.